Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the LiveCoin Q&A. If you are a coin collector, there is a very high chance that you've had a professionally graded coin in your collection before, like this one from NGC. And the two main reasons people send coins in to get graded are to get the grading company's opinion on what the grade is, and also to verify the authenticity of the coin itself and then once the coin comes back in a slab like this that company is verifying that the coin is real and they're giving you a grade so if you buy coins on the second hand market after they're already in a slab you actually want to be checking them very closely we just came across some listings Jeffrey Schumar actually just shared them in our chat. And there are some fake NGC slabs that also have counterfeit coins in them. On eBay, there's a ton of people bidding on these coins. And we're going to show you what to look at because you definitely don't want to get caught bidding on fake coins in fake slabs. Before getting into looking at these coins on eBay, I did want to mention that I usually blur out or mark out the seller names on the eBay listings, but Paula thinks we should just leave it on there because looking at this person's store, almost everything in their store is a scam of some sort. So. This person's on Paula's bad side right now, and they're probably lucky she isn't going to just come hunt them down in person, because she gets really, really passionate about stuff like this, and you really don't want to get on her bad side, because she can get kind of scary. So here we have an 1892S $1 graded VG10 by NGC. You go down here and look at the coin, and this looks very, very good to be graded a very good 10. And look at the reverse. You want to take a look at this holographic sticker. That's going to be important here in just a few minutes. And look at the reverse. There's a lot of details left on the reverse and this coin really should have graded higher than VG10 so the people bidding on this all 14 of them that bid it up to 12250 were probably thinking this was an undergraded coin but let's take a look at what NGC has on their site about this particular coin all right, so here is the NGC certification verification that I have pulled up. I typed in the certification number that is on that slab and get ready for it. Here is what the coin is supposed to look like. Here's the obverse. As you can see, there's a lot of wear on it doesn't have near as much luster left on it as the coin in the listing. And here is the reverse. It has a completely different holographic sticker on the slab. Different logo. And there is a ton of wear on the reverse and some scratches that you do not see on the eBay listing. So as you can clearly see, this coin does not match what NGC has on their website. So you can actually get in a lot of trouble for tampering with slabs, but I don't think this has been tampered with. This is just a completely fake slab and whoever made the slabs used a certification number for a coin that NGC has looked at. Alright, just for fun, let's look at another one that's on this eBay store. 
This one is an 1887S Morgan Silver Dollar, and it's NGC graded extra fine 45. So let's take a closer look like we did earlier. Take a look at that certification number. Get a good look at the coin. The date looks really, really fat and mushy, so I don't like the way that looks. Let's look at the reverse. We have that same holographic sticker that was on that last slab in their eBay store. See, let's look down here. You can see a stain over here above the eagle's left wing and some wear over here on the rim. Alright, so I'm not really liking how that coin looks either. So let's go see what NGC has on this coin. Alright, so here is the NGC page pulled up. I typed in the certification number on that slab. And let's take a look at what the coin that NGC graded actually looked like. Let's take a look at the obverse. Forgive my slow internet, it might take a second. Alright, here we go. So here is the coin NGC looked at. And look at all this wild toning that the coin in the listing does not have. So that's pretty obvious. The date does not look off on this one. If you noticed on the other one, when you looked at Liberty, inside of the letters was really dark, and on this one it actually looks pretty clean. Let's see what the re reverse looks like. So the reverse looks good. The sticker again is different compared to what's in that eBay listing. And if we look, there's not that wear on the rim that we saw in the listing. And there's not a big stain up here above the left wing of the eagle. So the coin in the slab on the eBay listing is definitely not the same coin that NGC looked at. And it looks like it's also not an authentic coin. So those were the only two listings that we were going to look at closely. There were a few additional listings after that that sold that I have a bad feeling that these are not legit slabs as well. But we're not going to look at those now because that would take a while and I don't want to make this video too long. And I do want to say I'm not trying to scare all of you to where you don't want to buy slabbed coins. I just want you to all know that you need to be very careful. Even if a coin is in a slab, there's a possibility it's fake. Because there's a lot of people out here that are faking the entire slab. And they're getting really good at it. And they're using certification numbers that are legitimate and have been used by NGC or PCGS. So... You want to be really careful. These fake slabs can be just about anywhere. You'll find them on eBay. You might even encounter them at coin shows. They might show up on YouTube. Somebody might be selling one and not even know that it's fake in the first place. But we all need to be responsible when we're buying coins. And make sure we're looking at them closely. Because you never know when you're going to encounter a fake and we just need to educate ourselves better and make sure we don't accidentally buy a fake. That's going to wrap up this video. If you're thinking about buying a slab coin, make sure you go the extra mile and make sure you take a very close look at the coin and verify that it's the coin that's supposed to be in the slab. As always, if you have questions about your coins or your paper currency, 
You can email your question and your photos to info at livecoinqa.com and we will make sure to help you with your question. Thank you all for watching.